Hey everybody, we're gonna do a serious one here. This one's about social media. And it was basically inspired by Blind View's video, Social Media, which I wouldn't have probably made this if also RV Homesteader hadn't said something in her video explaining about not being able to go to RTR. Okay, I, like RV Homesteader, she had great analogy, by the way. I'm like an inside cat. I mean, I get out a lot. I go to work six days a week. But, you know, I'm a homebody. That's obvious. But I want to talk about how social media has affected my life since I got on it. Now, I didn't get on social media until 2012 that's when i made my youtube i didn't upload until 2017 but that's when i made my youtube and my facebook i reconnected with some friends on facebook i hadn't been connected with i originally got talked into making a facebook account so i could get to know some of my family in england better and reconnect with all my old friends in st cloud and all that stuff and <clears throat> For the most part, I'm going to say a majority of my experience on Facebook has been really great. I've met hundreds, if not thousands of people because of my Facebook fan page it has like 3,700. I don't remember how many people have liked my art, but I, I, I really appreciate it. And uh, now people watch my videos, which... You know, if you just watch YouTube, then you're not into social media. But I will say this, as soon as you start commenting back and forth and getting to know all the channels or the channels you're watching and they start to get to know you, it becomes social media. Now, the good things, I got inspired to paint every day. I got, you know, Jason Shambera, a.k.a. Salvador Van Gogh, inspired me to be creative, show my creative side, which was basically like the first domino in me trying to get other people to be creative and inspire people. And, you know, a lot of good has come from my friendship with uh, Jason. I've met so many people in like the Wuvian groups and the art groups and... You know, I'm also on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Twitter. But the thing I've learned from all of them, and I've watched so many people make videos, I'm taking a break, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. There's too much garbage on Facebook, too many... See, the thing is, you got to weed them out. You got to weed out the bad people, basically. Because uh, I don't really go to Facebook, if it's... If it's not a messenger message on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, I probably missed your post. I don't get to see it. Because I was the crazy guy who decided to make over 2,000 videos in two years on YouTube, and I try to communicate with that community, you know. And there are some bad, you know, I've seen some good things, like I've seen... People get together, get married, have kids, all for meeting each other on social media. Now, I personally met my wife at a friend's house going to visit a friend. She was his girlfriend's cousin. We started talking. That's how it used to go. Now it's all social media dating. I don't know what I would do. And there are some bad things. Like Blindview said, anything you put out there, anything... If you go to look for a job this day and age, they're going to go... First thing they're going to do is look at all your social media. So it is wise to just, you know, <laughs> be careful what you say and do on the internet. But I think for the most part, 88% of my experience on social medias, all of them, counting YouTube, have been really good. And I appreciate all the support and all the people who have got to know me. I'm probably going to put this on all three channels because it is a serious vlog. And I just felt like I had to say it, you know, because uh, 
you know, I don't want anybody to ever think like they're just a number to me. That's why you can't see my subscribers on my main channel. I like to showcase the viewers, you guys, the ones that are actually watching this video, you know? That's my, that's, that's what, that's what I do. So if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up. If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down. Feel free, feel free to share it on any of your social medias. And, uh, you know, if you've gotten to know me and you want to message me, get to know me, collaborate, whatever, many outlets. There's Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and my email, which I have trouble catching. But if you message me, if you comment on one of my YouTube videos and say, I just emailed you, I might be able to get it. Which is Mark Jones, period, MJ67 at gmail.com. All right, I think I said all I had to say. I wanted to keep it under eight minutes. Uh, much love around the globe. Thanks for supporting me. All my Patreon for over a year. I have saved all that money, and I cannot wait for you to see your money get used. It's going to be a good summer. Thanks to all my moderators and uh, John Hutchinson, one of my fellow fartists, who, rest in peace, you know, he has a fart page too. JFH, F apostrophe art. You should check it out. Uh, my number one moderator, Rosie, we love you. All right. Back to the silliness.